Hello, in this video I would like to show how to filter on a date in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. It might not be very obvious how to filter on a date in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. You might even decide to create an Excel lookup in order to perform this action. In this video we are going to show two versions on how to perform this activity using SQL or Deselect. So, the example that we are going to do is that we would like to find people who attended a certain event six months ago and we would like to inform them about the new event. Mind that your data model might be different from the ones that we are using since this is just an example for this particular use case. So, we have to uh, first uh, combine two data extensions. So the data extensions that we're going to use is the one that I'm showing now is the events actually. So the name of the event and when it happened and we need to combine it with the data extension of the event attendees, which is the following data extension here where we also have their contact ID and uh, regular ID. So this is how the SQL query for this particular case is going to look like. So we're going to combine event, event attendees with the event state extension using inner join, where we're going to find only those attendees who actually attended the event. We're going to combine it on the event attendees ID here. And then we're going to uh, create a certain criteria for the relative date, which is six months before now, which will bring us only those event attendees who attended the event six months prior to this date. You might even want to see how is it is going to look like in Excel, for instance. So also an option to do is that you would like to uh, first filter on your rows of uh, the information from your data extensions and then create a lookup uh, to join the data together across the tables. Uh, but of course, this is not the ideal way to find the people you need for your future campaign in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. The alternative to be is to create a selection using deselect. And this is how it's going to look like. So first you're going to open deselect, which can be found under app exchange here. And then you will be redirected to this page where you can click on create new selection. Let's start by giving a name for this new selection. So let's just go call, call it date six months. And now we are given the opportunity to choose from the available data extension. So let's find our data extensions that we need, which is the events that I have just shown now in Salesforce Marketing Cloud and the event attendees just simply drag and drop, drop on top of the events. We are given the opportunity to rename our data extensions only for the purpose of this selection. We're not going to actually rename the actual data extension, but we're not going to do this and press save. And here you can basically see a visual representation of a join. So we're going to do the inner join where we choose the event attendees ID with matching event attendees based on the ID and press save. And now let's filter on a date. So let's choose from the events data extension, the field called event date, drag and drop it to the right, choose is before now we're having the opportunity to choose between the calendar and the relative date. So for these purposes, we're going to choose the relative. We're going to choose before today. There is also an option to choose before now. And actually the difference between today and now is that today is used to refer to a date value that contains a year, a month and a day without any time information. And now is used to refer to a date value that apart from the year, month and day information also contains hours, minutes, seconds and milliseconds. Uh, you have to note that uh, dates in Salesforce Marketing Cloud are always stored with a time component. So if you don't define a time component when uploading data into a date field, uh, the time is always set on midnight. So let's choose here before today. And here we can simply type six 
months before today so that's it let's move on to the target definition so the target definition we can define our target data extension we can choose to create it here in deselect so let's just call it uh, event attendees uh, six months just for the purpose of this uh, example we can choose if it is sendable or testable let's choose if it's that it's sendable and here we can select the fields from uh, our source DEs. Uh, we're going to choose the ID of the event attendees, their contact ID, and then uh, name of the event from the event uh, DE and the event date from it as well, and save it. So now we can actually move on to our last step, which is the preview, and press Run Preview. So the preview will return us the first 20 uh, results from our selection. And if we're satisfied with the results, we can already press here Run. And the selection will be run inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And our target data extension will be populated with the data that we have already defined. But if we're not satisfied with the results at this point, we can always go back and tweak our filtering criteria. So here we can see the results. So we are seeing 20 records out of 32 records in total. Uh, we can see the fields that we have selected. So we're pretty much satisfied with the, what we see. And uh, that's basically it for today. So uh, here in this video, we discuss how to filter on a date in Salesforce Marketing Cloud using SQL or using Deselect. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Also, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter, the link to which can be found in the description to this video. So you never miss out on Salesforce Marketing Cloud tips and tricks, and also deselect updates. So thank you for watching and bye.